I guess I always enjoyed running. Ever since I was little. So it was only natural that when I was old enough, I joined my high school track team. Before any of this happened, and before everything else ceased to matter, I was really good at it. As far as you know, I was top of my class. Now, dead people are pretty good runners too. Not as good as me, of course, but they're good. They have what you could call ultimate perseverance. If their legs give out, they're perfectly happy to crawl. If they're missing a hand, or an arm, or the better half of their face, it's the same deal. Where I am now is running for my life from a handful of these dead guys, and I just can't see to catch my breath. How did I get here? Well, that's easy. It all started way back. See, I told my parents I was sick, they let me stay home, and I hung out for a couple hours doing nothing in particular, which was fine, until I noticed my parents never got back from work. New technologies transformed communities, but few innovations facilitated change like the advancement of weapons technology. You getting kicked with me, boy? Calm down. Laborious jam pistols were replaced by the revolver. The first terrifying machine guns appeared, a weapon that rained death and would transform. I was pretty worried. The phone lines were dead. The power went out pretty soon after. I guess after a while, all I really wanted was for mom and dad to come home, to knock on the door, to tell me the crazy story about what happened on the way home and kept them. It was a little juvenile, really. But someone did come knocking. It just wasn't them. This creepy old guy used to offer me rides to school. That was it. My first encounter with The Walking Dead. I was sure I was done for. Hell, I'm not even sure how I lived through it. But I did, and here I am, running for my life. I don't know what I did to deserve this. Probably nothing. Probably it's just the way they are. But one thing's for sure. I'm not letting these assholes take me alive, and yes, I do have a plan. I figure out good friend Brian, this real nice guy who used to be on my track team. Maybe he'll be cool and let me stay there. If not, then, well, I don't want to think about it. Jesus Christ, get in! Don't you find my house! You know, any idea what the hell's going on? Sorry. Hey, dude. Hey. How did you make it through those things alive? Oh my god, you didn't see anyone we knew out there, did you? Sorry. No. I gotta go do something. <laughs> so, uh, let's, let's hang out with Ted and then... Uh... <laughs> I feel like that since we got here. Speaking of which, 
you don't seem so good yourself. I mean, we thought you were done for. It's been days since this thing hit. I'm fine. I've just been, uh, worried. That's a lie, by the way. But I say it without even a hint of dishonesty. And they still think I give a damn about them. The guy in the movie grabs a bunch of stuff, goes into the basement, puts a thing over the door, and it's totally cool. Yeah, this doesn't sound cool. It's time for charted. But it works. Right. In the movies. But it's a movie about zombies. Come on. Whatever. This is better work. So what are we doing? Basement. Going in the basement. It's kind of dark in here, don't you think? If you're wondering why we don't have any guns, the answer is a little sad, really. Despite the fact that we're underage, we live in a town full of these aging, hippie activist types. There probably isn't a gun for miles. You know, I used to buy into all that crap about an armed citizen not helping anybody. But it turns out it's bullshit. But that's okay. Time passes, things start to feel a little less hopeless, almost like they used to. But I've got something on my mind, and it's something that I'm sure is going to kill the cheery mood that they've got going on down here. You know, don't. Just, why? just don't. It just, would suck so please, hard. You don't even have to. I no, just be like, oh, she's cute. What if, say, hypothetically, one of us got bitten? Everyone's glaring around at each other, imagining each and every one of them what it would be like if the guy next to them suddenly got up and tried to take a bite out of them. And then Ted pipes up out of nowhere. The idiot. I... I knew it! You son of a bitch! Sometimes it's disturbing to see how fast your friends become your enemies. Sometimes all it takes is the chance they might be out to kill you. And sometimes all it takes is a little desperation and a whole lot of fear. No! I'm sorry! I wasn't! Don't! I wasn't! He was my friend! What the hell are you doing? Things quickly go from bad to worse. It's anarchy and bedlam and everything else. It turns out my friends really weren't all that close after all in the past tense. That's right about now I start to realize I really hate my friends. At least we made it. Thank God we're not infected. I didn't speak. There was nothing to say. I just smiled and behind my back, I fingered the little teeth marks that old guy who knocked on my doorway back when left, and he bit me. I felt really bad about doing this to Brian. He was really such a nice guy. It's just that I was so hungry. I guess you remember when I said I lived through that first encounter. I lied.